Hi guys. So today is Saturday, April the 2nd. Happy April. I'm doing a ride along deliver with me today. <sighs> Super hot day guys. Let me zoom it in there. 91 degrees. It is very hot. Summer has came early in South Texas. Um, so let's put on Uber Eats and we'll also do Grubhub. And guys, I have some news. Now, it's not confirmed yet, but I may be starting Amazon Flex soon. I signed up. They're doing the background check, which it should be no problem because <laughs> my background checks are always accepted. No criminal record or history here. Um, but I signed up. So as soon as the background check completes, which should be sometime next week, like Monday or Tuesday, um, I might start doing Amazon Flex. Now what Amazon Flex is, is um, where you deliver packages from Amazon. You go to the warehouse, you get the packages, then you leave them at the door, take a picture. Um, it's like, it's a lot like food deliveries, except you, you deliver packages, go to a warehouse, you have to scan them. So it's a bit different, but it is like, you know, the same concept, deliveries, leaving them at the door most of the time, stuff like that. Um, I'm still gonna mainly focus on doing food deliveries. Amazon Flex would just be something to add to my income, maybe one day or twice a week or something like that. Um, but on my first day of doing it, which should be next week if I get a, you know, when I get approved, um, I will show you guys my first day. I'll actually vlog it and show you guys how it is. Um, I'm excited because it's something to add to my income, something different, and you should always do things different. You know, you should always try new things. Um, so yeah, so, but today we're going to focus on free deliveries, but I'll keep you guys updated on the Amazon Flex. Um, I got DoorDash on too, and then I also got uh, Grubhub and Uber Eats. So haven't gotten any, well, one order came in for $2, but it was a DoorDash offer, very low. Chris, I'm not gonna take it. I got my snack. I brought raisins with me today. I bought my water and I bought a piece of gum. So <laughs> I actually have an old water in here too that I'm probably gonna just like save for later and put it in the fridge or something. But yeah, so I will let you guys know when I get my first delivery, okay. Hey guys, so I just got to Chipotle. I accepted my first order. It was um, a six dollar order going um, five and a half miles. So, um, it, you know, it's a decent order. It's just something to get started. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get it. It's a DoorDash order for Callie. It doesn't show me like what she has. Um, so, cause it says requested by the merchant, but pick up by 410 and it's 407. So I'll probably get going in there in a few minutes, but yeah. So let me hit arrived at store and hopefully this will be on the shelf. Most of the orders are on the shelf. Um, for some reason, sometimes they keep them behind the counter, like occasionally, but most of the time they're on the shelf. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when I get the order and when I drop it off. Okay. Okay, awesome guys. I just picked it up. It does say hand it to customer. Um, I am going to message them and see if it's okay if I leave it at the door and ring the bell. But if they want me to wait for them, I certainly will. Um, so that's what I do when it says hand it to customer. I just message them to make sure that's what they want me to do. So let me message Callie or is that Kelly or Kaylee? Yeah, Kaylee P. And I'll see what she wants me to do. Okay, I will let you guys know when I get to the drop off and everything. All right. Okay, guys, I'm here at the house. Um, she didn't get back with me, so I guess what I'll do is I'll leave it by the door and then step back and wait for her. Oh, hi. Hello. Hey. <laughs> actually outside so I handed it to her very nice lady so she's cool um I 
just said, I guess summer came early for us because it is so hot out here. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're on to the next delivery. Whatever I get, I haven't gotten one yet, but I'll let you guys know what I got. Okay. Hey guys, so I accepted another DoorDash order for $6.75 going 3.9 miles from Panda Express. And there, like when the orders are ready, they put them on a pickup shelf, so that's cool. So pick up by 4.43 and it's 4.32, so I may have to like just wait a few minutes for it. I'll probably just wait in the car for five minutes or so. But yeah, so this is my second DoorDash order. Um, I've gotten other offers from like Uber Eats, Grubhub, they've been not good. So this was like a short distance, not very much of a payout, but you know, only less than four miles for $6.75 and it could be more sometimes. They do hide the tips like after you drop it off you say you know they say you earn a dollar or two more but we'll see but yeah i'll let you guys know when i get the order and when i drop it off okay okay guys well i'm at panda i'm just pulling in here i got a i'm in the same shopping center as chipotle i got an eight dollar grubhub order to go 1.4 miles so i'm gonna make this like two orders i usually don't do it but since this is such a short distance away and it's eight dollars for a mile and a half i'm gonna pick up the panda express order and then go to chipotle and i'll probably drop off the uh chipotle uh first because it is like 1.4 miles away um so yeah so like i said i usually don't do this but since it's only a short distance i decided to do it okay i'll show you guys when i get both orders and when i drop them off okay Okay guys, I picked up the DoorDash order. <laughs> um, now I'm gonna go to Chipotle. I hope this lady's order is ready. It is. Um, I'm trying to see like what time. Okay, pick up by 4.48 and it's 4.40. Chandel. Okay, and I made up my mind. I changed my mind. I'm gonna um, deliver the DoorDash order first. Um, and then I'm going to do the grub hub. So yeah, let's go to Chipotle, get this order, and then deliver the DoorDash first, and then uh, the grub hub. Okay. Okay, guys. So I went in Chipotle, and the order is not ready yet. Um, what I decided I'm going to do, um, instead of making the <laughs> DoorDash order, like, wait until this one's ready, I'm going to go ahead and deliver Charlene's order from Panda Express, which was the DoorDash order, because she's only... Like, I think two miles away. No, 2.7 miles away. Starting route so that'll give them, you know, trail. plenty of time to get this order ready. And then I'll come back here Proceed and get the Grubhub order. Then turn right. So what I'm going to do is deliver the DoorDash now, come back and get the Grubhub. So yeah, I'll let you guys know when I get to Charlene's house, um, which is the Panda Express from DoorDash. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm here for the... Um, DoorDash order, the Panda Express. So they have like a box in here. It's like a family meal. So it's like this red box right here to leave at door. Okay, so I just had to wait till that crossed. Here's the house right here. left it then I'm gonna take a picture like of the house before I leave okay gotta go to Chipotle and get the grab hub order so I will let you guys know when I get the order and drop it off okay okay guys I am on my way to drop off the Chipotle grab hub order um, when I went back it wasn't on the shelf but the girl I had to ask the girl that works there for it and it was like behind the counter. Um, so yeah, I think she lives in these apartments right here. They're so pretty. I love these apartments. Um, but it is a leave it door, I believe. So I will record, I will start recording again when I get to her building. And yeah, so I'm here. 
Okay guys, I'm in front of her building. I hope I'm on the right side because like there's two entrances here. But hers is on the third floor, so that's why like I hope I get it right the first time. Um but I should be able to check because usually the odd numbers are on one and the even numbers are on the other. So I have to see like on the first floor if it's the odd number or even. on this side I'm not sure okay let's see if this is the wrong side I just have to go to the other side they have a little hallway this is cool I didn't know they had this <laughs> most apartments don't like if you're on the wrong side you have to go back to the other side but I like this I dropped it off, knocked on the door. I'll let you guys know what I get next. Okay. Okay guys, I got another door to hush order. Um it is eight, I think 845 for five and a half miles. So I'm gonna go back to Chipotle. And um yeah, I've been to Chipotle like three times already today. Um, so I'm just gonna go back there because I got a couple of lowball offers. This one was okay, so I took it. And yeah, I'll show you guys when I get the order and when I drop it off. Lots of traffic today. Bye. Guys, I just got the order. I had to ask for it again. <laughs> I'm not sure why sometimes they don't have it on the shelf. They have it back there. Maybe it's like certain orders, I don't know. Um, okay, so Helmar, it says hand it to customer. Um, I'm gonna message him. Starting route to 7827 Saddle Run. I'm gonna message him and see if they Proceed want me to. to Foreign Parkway. Then turn right. I'm gonna message him and see if they want me to wait for them or um, just leave it by the door. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I get there and when I drop it off. Okay. Okay, guys. I just wanted to let you guys know. So the customer got back with me and she said yes. Please leave it. Thank you. So um, a lot of the times when it says hand it to customer, you like you can't always think that's what they want. Sometimes they don't even Proceed know it says that. So I like to message them before just to make sure because I prefer just to leave it. You know what I mean? Because I'm wearing a mask. Not all the time the customers are wearing a mask. COVID is still out there. I actually know somebody who she's been she's vaccinated and boosted and everything but she got covid like a couple of days ago and she's coughing and just sick and it's just not over yet guys and i don't want to get sick you know um even if it's just flu-like symptoms i don't want to get that because i don't you know i can't really afford to be sick honestly and i need to work so safety first but yeah let's go and uh deliver this order okay okay guys i'm at the house um, she said it's okay to leave it at the door, so I'm going to go ahead and get it out. I have actually something I want to tell you guys. A very scary thing happened, but I'm okay. Um, everyone's okay, but I did have to call 911 on this car, but I'll tell you the story after I drop it off.
Okay, let me get back to my car so I can tell you guys. Okay, I'm gonna mark it as delivered. And I got 8.45 for that order. Let me turn off in dash. So, it's kind of like a story time that I have to tell you guys. Okay. I was dropping, well, I was leaving Chipotle. And um, I was on the access road. As soon as I turn on the access road, there's this car doing donuts coming right towards me. Like, it looked like it was going to, like, hit me head on. I had to go to a parking lot thank god there was like a food truck there and there's like a little parking lot so I immediately when I saw him I thought fast I went in my right lane turned into that parking lot and then I think he turned around and went the other way and then um when I was coming back to do the delivery to go to the house I saw him in the parking lot at a racetrack it's called Retirement Park Racetrack where they do horse racing which I hate which I'm totally against, but he was doing the donuts in the parking lot there. His car was smoking, like full of smoke, making a lot of noise. That guy, man, if I wouldn't have thought quick, he might have hit me head on. And it's just like, it's so crazy how I've never seen anything like that in my life. And um, I just thank God I'm okay. Um, I don't know if he is drunk, crazy, or just being a show off he's in a mustang so you know who knows you like what he's doing but he's gonna hurt someone he's gonna kill someone if he's doing that and um i i had to call the police and i explained to them what happened i told him he was in the rotama park parking lot i hope they get their asap so they could you know he, he needs to be off the road if he's gonna be acting like that i'm, I'm serious guys like it was one of the, the scariest thing i've seen on the road in my life actually um, but yeah, I'm okay. Thank God. Um, I'm going to do a couple of more orders. I don't even know if I'm going to work until eight o'clock because I'm kind of shook up, but I at least want to do at least another two or three orders, maybe till seven. It's almost six, but yeah, guys, um, you just be safe out there and always like, just look out for other drivers and that guy, I hope the police, like I said, I hope they came and I hope they whatever they do would do to him i would say if they saw that they would arrest him they would take him in if they saw him doing that but the police are never there when you need them you know like i just w wish to god there was a policeman out there that saw what he was doing he is endangering himself and other people but yeah that's my scary story time for the day guys i hope i never experience anything like that in my life i have a terrible headache now my heart was racing so fast but God is good. I'm okay. And uh, I, I hope he's okay too. I, I don't want him to hurt himself. And if he needs help, then he needs to get help for whatever is going on. But yeah, I'm just going to put it behind me. I'm fine. And God is good. Okay, I'll let you guys know what order I get next. All right. Hey guys, so I accepted an order from Chili's for $7.50, um, going two and a half miles. It's another DoorDash order, guys. So it's another DoorDash order. <laughs> I'm getting like nothing, mainly just DoorDash orders, because like Uber is sending me offers, but they're not very good. So we're just going to do this one. Um, it does say curbside pickup, so I don't really have to go in, I guess. But it says once you've marked yourself as being arrived, Someone will bring it to your car. See, I'm getting another really bad uh, Uber Eats. Nine miles for $7.49. And I like going to Panera, but um, I wouldn't do it for that. So, yeah, um, like I said, you know, I'm going to put what happened behind me. I'm still thinking about it, but I'm trying not to. You just got to move on and don't dwell on things, you know. Um, but, yeah, I hope he's off the road. Not only for our safety, but for his safety, too. That guy, I don't want him getting hurt as well, but I don't want him hurting innocent people either. But yeah, so let's um, go to Chili's. It's right by the Chipotle. I'm at Chipotle now. Chili's is right next door, and uh, I'll just park there, and I'll show you guys when I get the order and when I drop it off. 
Okay, it's for Patricia. Let me see if she has any drinks. Oh, per well, one drink. That's not bad. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm waiting in number two, and it's different now. It says merchant, merchant confirmed to bring your order. Your order will arrive in five minutes or less. Usually, I just go in there and get it off the shelf. But, you know, if they prefer to do the curbside, then that's great. But, um, so I guess I'm just going to wait in the car. But if they don't come out, I'll probably go in and see if my order's on the shelf. I don't know, though. Because I don't know if they change things. Usually, like, you know, they just have people go and pick them up off the shelf. But we'll see what happens. Um, I'll let you guys know when I get the order and drop it off. Okay.